Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. As always, I am Shane Thomas and you can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can also go to codekarate.com and sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already. Today, we are on episode number 95. And we're not only going to go over a module, we're also going to go over a little bit of Drupal 7 core and just how you can restrict access to your site. Let's say you have a bunch of spam that's hitting your site from various IP addresses and you need to block that or you have some type of denial of service attack if your website starts to get somewhat popular and there's people that are trying to bring your site down. You can of course maybe need to block the IP address so we'll go over that first. And then we'll also go over the ability to block specific usernames or specific email addresses from actually creating accounts on your site and that will be a separate module but we'll first take a look at just our standard Drupal 7 site here I obviously have some contributed modules installed but one thing that is out of the box Drupal 7 if you come in to the configuration people section there is an IP address blocking section and what this is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to enter in a IP address something like that and you can add it to this list and basically anyone who tries to get to your site from this IP address is not actually going to be able to get to your site you can see it says blocked addresses are completely forbidden from accessing the site and instead see a brief message explaining the situation so, like I said before, if you're getting a denial of service attack or if you're getting spammed by a couple of various IP addresses, you can add these IP addresses to the list and they will no longer be able to access your website. And so that's a very simple way to deny access to your site. The next way is by either username or email address. And this used to be part of Drupal 6 and I believe Drupal 5 as well. But now this email and username blocking has moved into a separate module called the user restrictions module and as I said before it's just going to let you block specific usernames or emails from your site so I'm gonna go ahead and I already have this module downloaded I'm going to turn it on I'm going to enable both the UI and the user restrictions without the UI you can't of course set it up or actually set up the rules but you can, I believe, turn the UI off after you've set up the rules so you no longer need to keep that module on. But we'll leave them both on and I will come into the configuration page. And as you can see, I already have one in here that I had before. Basically, I'll go ahead and delete it and remake it so you can see that process. You simply add a rule and you select whether you want this to be denied or allowed. And then you can say okay do you want to check for email addresses or usernames so I can for instance say we want the email address we put a mask on it the percent sign matches multiple characters the underscore matches one so we do percent at example dot com we can set an expiration so if you want you know if it's a temporary thing you only want it to be for a couple days or a couple weeks you can set that and then the rule will automatically expire we're gonna go ahead and set never and click save rule you can do this with username of course and you can either select to deny this or allow it but basically what this is going to do is it's going to add this to the list you can of course check it so if I can check if I had shane at example.com check the email it's saying the email address shane at example.com is not allowed if I use another email address it's will it's of course says that it is allowed and we'll give this a quick test. If I come over here in a different browser and I try to create a new account and I want my username to be example and I use that shane at example.com email address it of course gives me the message saying the email address is not allowed. So it's a very dynamic way and pretty flexible for blocking bulk uh, different different types of email address usernames just based on using the different masking capabilities either specifying a single character wildcard which is just the underscore or a multi-character wildcard which is of course this percent sign so go ahead and start 
adding your rules and blocking email addresses and usernames from your account if they become problems, and block IP addresses if you need to using the core Drupal 7 IP address blocking capabilities. Obviously, you should only use these if you actually need them, but just so you know, they're there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time on the Daily Dose of Drupal.